Ready? Sure. Okay. Hey guys, it's Anna, and this is Tori. Again. Yo. I'm back. She's back. Can't keep me away. Stay with me. <laughs> College. High school. Yeah. Graduate already. <sighs> anyway. So today we have decided to do the Summertime Sadness book tag. Woo! Woo. <laughs> okay. So basically we are just going, to, we already wrote down basically what we need to, to, to get. And we already chose the books that are going to fit for that question or whatever. So, let's just get started. So the first question is to find a book with a summary cover. You can go first. Okay. So I picked guessed. Alienated by Melissa Landers. Look at that. It looks very summerish. Yeah, it? except for like the night sky that's like. Hey, people wintering. lay out under the stars during the summer. He's on the moon. So? <laughs> Doesn't have to be that way. Use your imagination. And I chose The Hobbit because look at that. That's completely summery. Got all that grass and beautiful skies. The second question is, what is your, what would be your fictional place to go to for a summer vacation? And I picked Scotland, because it's the main focus of Outlander by Diana Gabadon. Awesome. I mean, it's kind of a bad time to go to Scotland during this book, but it's okay because it's Scotland. Yeah. I chose the world of Harry Potter. <laughs> That counts as all the books together. <laughs> it's in the seventh book, so I mean, the world of Harry Potter when things are good and not bad. Actually, I would like to go there even if it had Voldemort. Because it's wizarding world and you, you're a witch. You'd be a muggle. Boom! I'd be. Boom. I'd have powers and everything. The third question is to find a book that you would read for a flight to a destination for like a vacation or something. Mm -hmm. And what was chosen for me was The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Because she needs to read it. I know. She mentions this in every video we're in together. Because you haven't read it. <laughs> I'm working on it. She's reading it for the booktube a thon. Mm -hmm. I'm very See? proud of her. There you go. And I would choose this. Beautifulness. My beautifulness. That is my book. Not hers. She does not own it yet. It hasn't come in the mail. I know! I ordered it like two days ago at 2 a.m. Um, no, this so is that's the- That's what we do. We order books in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. This is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Ade? Adier? Who knows how to pronounce that? Leave it in if the comments. You, if you do, congratulations. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. I would like to learn. Yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Probably not. So the fourth question is to find a book that would get you out of a case of summertime sadness. So in other words, a happy book. Mm -hmm. And I picked The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Even oh, though <laughs> this entire series is completely frustrating for your mind, the end... Mind F. I don't yeah, get that. The end made me happy. I was content, and it made me happy. It made me smile, so I chose this book. And I never read it. Because <laughs> she's one. But never. I love her. Yeah. And then I chose Harry Potter. <laughs> Again. Because Harry Potter. I could read it in a day, maybe. I did. The fifth question is that you are at the beach, so what fictional beach babe would you have by your side? Okay. I would have Mr. Jebediah Dalt, Jebediah Holt, from Splinter. You, you couldn't even say his real name. Hmm? Nothing. Just continue. I would have Jebediah Holt from Splinter. He's totally oh, amazing. I love him. I would totally have him as my beach babe. Yep. You haven't read Unhinged, so you don't know what goes on. I don't there. like him. I do. He's trying to keep her away from her destiny of living in Wonderland. Ooh. Read unhinged and you will find out otherwise. No. <laughs> anyway. anyway. 
<laughs> and my beach babe would be Prince Caspian from the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> because it would probably be another dude, but we're at her house. So my books are at my house. But. So she's settling for mine. Basically. If, well, I like him in the movies. So. <laughs> I'll give you that. I've never read him in the books, to be honest, but it, it works. Um, no, if I could choose my beach babe from, like, the, um, my house, my books, it would be Newt from the Maze Runner series because he is just perfection in the movie and the book. Like, I like, I think I like him more than Thomas. Although Thomas would probably be an awesome beach babe, too. So, whichever. <laughs> And the final question is to pick your fictional sidekick that you would have that would match how cool and awesome your ice cream would be. I don't know. It was something like that. It's on my phone, though, and I'm filming on the phone. So, well, I picked Hermione Granger from Harry Potter because who wouldn't want to have a super smart, annoying. super amazing... Hey, hey. <laughs> Hermione is very annoying. Hermione is like me. Oh. So therefore, Hermione Granger. Oops. Yeah. Oops. I would rather Luna than Hermione, actually. Oh, that's a good one! No, mine would be Isabel Lightwood from the Moral Instrument series, because I like her more than Clary. <laughs> Isabel. Izzy, be my friend. And... Newt... Be my beach babe. Well, guys, that was our summertime sadness book tag. And that's the books that I choose for that tag and one that she chooses. Um, yeah. Tori, thank you so much for being on my channel again. You're welcome. Don't push you up in. Please. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to Tori's channel, which is Victoria Boudreaux. I would try to put it down in the link below, but we'll see if that actually happens. If not, it's Victoria Boudreaux. I tried to put it uh, for Totally Tori, but I don't know if that actually worked. So you could try that, and if not, Victoria Boudreaux. There you go. Yes. All right, guys. I'm Anna, and that was our tag. So we're going to go now. Bye. Bye. So the first challenge is to find challenge. Question. <laughs> I'm so done. Okay. So the first question is to find a book with a summary cover. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> she ruined it. Just do it again. Okay. So the first question is to find.